Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church. Greetings in Jesus' name. Could we all be upstanding for the second time? I want to thank you all for joining us in the house of the Lord. Can you smile to someone, greet someone, just do something, tell them, Karibu Nyumbani Wabuana. Thank you, thank you so much. To those joining us online, in various virtual channels, we also want to thank you and I want to tell you welcome home. Let us start by opening a scripture. Let us read together. Let's go. Mark chapter 4, verse 1. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. O Lord, you are my strength and my song. You have become my salvation. Yes. Who is like you, you, O Lord, Lord among, among the, the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders? Cornerstone family, proclaim with me, this is our God. And we will praise him now more than ever before. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Father, this is our declaration. This is our announcement. That as a family, O oh Lord, that we will praise you now more than ever. Like never before. With all that you have given unto us. Oh, we will praise you today. Oh, we will worship you today. Someone in church, come just lift your hands. And just declare to the Lord. As we praise you, yes, we pray that you will open heaven yes, and you shall heal the sick. You shall restore the hopeless yes, and you shall bring open heaven. And therefore we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' beautiful name. Yes. Come on, somebody appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 What the Lord has done for us and is continually doing in our lives, it shall be permanent. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. It shall be permanent What the Lord has done for me It shall be permanent It shall be permanent It shall be permanent What the Lord has done for me It shall be permanent Everybody say It shall be permanent It shall be It shall be permanent What the Lord has done for me it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Hey, what the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Hey, what the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. What the Lord has done for me, Say, it shall be hey, permanent. permanent. It shall be permanent. permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, the Lord has done for me. Say, it shall be Say permanent. One more time. permanent. It shall be permanent. 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 It shall be permanent. Hey, what the Lord? What the Lord has done for me, yeah. it shall be permanent. It shall be excellent. Hey. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. it shall be permanent. Hey, it shall be elegant, powerful, intangible. What the Lord has done for me, yes, Lord. it shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. What the 
the Lord has done for me. It shall be from Monday. It shall be from Monday. From Monday. It shall be from Monday. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be from Monday. Hi, I say, it shall be tangible, powerful, and excellent. What the Lord is doing in me. Yes. It shall be pumpade. It shall be excellent, powerful, tangible. What the Lord is doing in me too. Yes, sir. It shall be pumpade, pumpade. It shall be pumpade, pumpade. It shall be pumpade. Yeah. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be pumpade. Oh Lord. Is your name, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your Everybody name. Everybody say, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, Somebody jump to the Lord. Oh, other people, somebody jump to the Lord. He's the most high God. Yeah, let's jump for the Lord. I can see you. Sikuwa nukiruka, utatuambia na rukia nani? Yes, yes, yes. Jump, 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 jump. He's the most high God. Hey. Hallelujah. Yeah. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. You are the most high God. Hey, come on, let Jesus higher. Let's go. You are the most high God. You are highly exalted. You are highly lifted up high. You came from heaven to earth. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name, Lord. Come on, help me sing to the Lord. You came from heaven to earth hey. to show us the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pray. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name, Lord. One more time, the heaven, he now called the glory to go for you and I. Heaven to earth to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name, Lord. Lord, I lift your name, Lord. Lord, I lift your name, Lord.
Okay, bye bye. Inua mukono chuchu kidogo. Lift your hands up. that we believe. We believe that you are the Savior. And we thank you for the assurance of salvation. We thank you for the gift of one another, O Lord. Over and above, thank you for your presence in this place. In the house of the Lord today. One more time, somebody come on, appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I want to invite the children. As we have our seats, the children and your teachers 
together with your facilitators, kindly stand up. Thank you. Church, let us stretch our hands towards our children even as we pray for them. Heavenly Father, we continue to appreciate you. Oh, what a God you are. What a Father you are. You are a good God. You are a loving Father. Oh, we love you. Oh, we worship you. We thank you, Father, for yet another moment that you have granted us together with our children to gather together to lift your name to gather together to praise you. To gather together, oh God, to declare your wonderful works, oh Father. Thank you for that opportunity, oh Father. And right now, Lord, we want to lift them before you. We want to decree and declare, oh God, that, this, that which you have given unto us, these dear ones, oh God Almighty, you shall continue to guide them, oh Father. You shall continue to direct them, oh dear Master. We want to pray, oh God Almighty, for the wisdom of Solomon upon them. But Father, even as they continue to receive wisdom from their teachers, oh God, and their assistant teachers, that Lord King of all glory, they will be careful not to forget, oh God. I thank you for their teachers as well. I thank you for the facilitators, oh God of truth children's ministry. I want to thank you, Father, King of all glory, for teacher Becky, oh God. A special blessing upon her. In the name of Jesus. As they go to their classes, oh Father, I don't want to forget their parents. And they will prepare them even as they come to the house of the Lord. Father, remember them. Oh God Almighty, as they march to their classes, we want to declare and declare a blessing in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And may the church say, Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Children, you may march to your class in Jesus' name. Na 
I don't know how you can help it. But like the singer has said, I cannot help but to say, he has been good to me. He has been faithful to me. That's why I stand here and proclaim Jesus. My Redeemer, my Savior. My Deliverer, my King. My God. The light of my salvation. He is in the beginning. He is in the present. And in the future, he never changes. Help me rejoice in the Lord. We want to welcome all of you again, those of you in the sanctuary, those of you on, online. If you are online right now, please remember to comment, to share, and also to like our page and to pray for us. Everybody in the sanctuary, please remember Keep an attitude of worship. For anything is likely to happen to those who worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. Hallelujah. 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 A few weeks ago, we've been uh, sharing on the series on the book of uh, Judges, the story of Gideon. And we did a card known as Decrees from the Altar of the Most High. The incomparable God. We are standing on the promises of God. Jeremiah 1 verse 10 says, This day I have set you above all nations. And it says many things, but in essence it says that which must be pulled down, that which must be uprooted, you have the power to do it. You have the power to do it. And then to build and to plan. So brothers and sisters and friends, it is that moment now that we take your name and your card to the Lord God Almighty. So I'd like to ask everyone to stand. Pastors and ministers, please come and come with the names of God's people. If you did not get the card, the color is blue. 
If you did not get the card, I would like to ask that before you leave the service, make sure you get one from the ushers. And those of you online, the card you find it on our Facebook page. You can sign it and send it back to us. We'll print and we'll put yours on this basket. Shato robo zika bo zika shata rabazant. Oh, shato robo bobo zanta rabababashant. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, shata robo zika rabababazant. Holy, holy. Oh, some and mighty God. Join me in worship everyone wherever you are. Lift your voice to the almighty God. Lift your hands to the King of glory. Oh, shout to Robo Zika, Robo Bozanto. Mighty God. Oh, some and great God of the heavens. The God who never changes. Elohim. Oh, shout to Robo Zika. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah we exalt your holy name. We lift you on high. You are worthy of all praise. We lift you on high. In the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. We now decree dominion blessings. We decree Aaronic blessings. We decree Abrahamic covenant blessings. We decree obedience blessings. We decree excellence of health and excellence of welfare. We decree abundant living in Christ. It must be abundant living in Christ. In the name of Jesus, we decree productivity. We decree productive lifestyle. In the name of Jesus, this is the heritage of those that love the Lord. This is the heritage of those whose names are right here. This is the heritage of you who is connecting with us. In the name of Jesus, say I receive. I receive. I receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. With the Lord of Thunder as a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Allow me to once again welcome the praise team to praise the Lord with a special selection. And while they are preparing themselves, let me announce that the 10 a.m. classes have begun. And I would like to invite all of us to join us at the 10 a.m. classes right here in the sanctuary. In the month of April, we would like to launch all departments. And we look forward to launching everything that God will put in our hearts. Now the speaker of the word of the Lord at this hour. In this service that the Lord has brought us together. I have learned she's a grandmother of five. A grandma of five. I have also learned that she is a mother of five and the sixth one went to glory to wait for her. Her husband and her two children are here in the house as well. She's a businesswoman. She runs a business known as One Touch Beauty Parlor. Yeah, yeah, I knew who to shake here. One touch, Guzo Moja. Beauty parlor in God. Ladies and gentlemen, after the voices of the praise and worship team, Pastor Maggie Pock coming to share the word of the Lord. So we must praise him. Praise him in 
in a beacon way. So we must praise him. Praise him in a beacon way. When Jesus came on, he came down from heaven. Oh, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, worshippers. Can we give them a mighty hand clap? So powerful. Amen. You can have your seats. Even, even the church can sit down. God bless you so much. I don't need an introduction. But Bishop has already introduced me. He has already said my husband is here and our three children and our grandchildren have gone to the Sunday school. My husband is the most handsome man in this house. Can you rise up and say hi? Just stand up, please. Our children, please stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Those are our two daughters, our son behind there. We, we are so humbled. Others are out of the country. Amen. Amen. God bless you. First of all, I want to appreciate our bishop. I call him my bishop. Because truly he's a bishop to me. And uh, our and Pastor Ruth is not here in the morning. But I know she's watching. I appreciate her so much. I appreciate Bishop's family. The leadership of Cornerstone. Even for allowing me and loving me. And letting, uh, uh, giving me the opportunity to minister. By God's grace, I'm one of the pastors here now. Amen. Amen. So I'm very, very humbled about that. You, you know, God is a God of seasons. And if he, he orders you to go somewhere, you do exactly that. So he has ordered me to be one of the pastors as my title today. Amen. Amen. Me and my interpreter we are going to preach today. 
And I thank God because he will remind me that I have an interpreter. You open Joshua chapter 1. The title for the message today is The God Who Calls All to Order and, and, and All Must Obey. Did you hear that? That all of us have been ordered by God. But all of us must obey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you a Joshua right now? Chapter 1. Are you there? Amen. Because I'm there. I'm going to read uh, Joshua chapter 1. So let's stand up for the reading of the word. I'm reading New, uh, New King James. Uh, chapter uh, New King James Bible from verse 1 to verse 9. And I'm going to read. Now, uh, oh, it is there so we can read from there. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord. Yeah, we are all reading. Amen. Yeah. Come on, let us read. The death of Moses, the servant of the Lord. It came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I say to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to your fathers to give them. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Let's have a seat. What you know, the, the God who orders, he will always equip you. When God orders you, he equips you. I, I don't know whether you have seen when a president becomes, when the, the day of inauguration the president gets a sword. That's stands, that stands for authority. So when God orders you to do something, he wants you to obey exactly what he says. When God ordered Bishop Kamau to be the Bishop of Cornerstone Church, he equipped him. So we are in the house of order. I have been married for 41 years. And there's order in that house. So there are things I do. There are things my husband does. And because it is a house of order, there are other things that our children also do. Even in a dog in that home, there's no, they, they know there's order. 
Hata humo unajua pia kuna mpangilio katika nyumba ile. Even a doba in that home or a whatever is in that home they know there's order. Kile kitu katika nyumba ile unajua kuna mpangilio fulani. Because the, you, and they must obey they don't have a choice let Lazima me tell. Waheshimu waona njia nyingine. When we wake up in the morning. Ukiamka asubuhi our dogs know it is their time to go to their house. So they don't argue when you get out of the house, they run, everyone run to their house. They obey because if they don't obey, some beating. Amen. Amen. Even when God orders us, when he ordered Joshua, I don't know whether you saw something. The first thing God did was to, uh, to encourage Joshua. If you read the word you saw, when God ordered him, order is assignment. If you look at the verses we read, God gave Joshua great promises. Verse 3 he says, Every place you step on your feet, I shall give you. Verse 5, no man will ever stand before you all your life. Verse 6, he said, be strong and of a good courage. And verse 7, he says, only be thou strong and be very courageous. And he went to verse 9 and he said, have, have not I commanded you be strong and of good courage do not be afraid why is God encouraging him like that because he knows when you get a, an order there's a resistance I don't know whether it happens to you or to, to like for me there's always a resistance. There's always another voice. So God equips us. And he wants us to obey because he knows it is very easy for you to start doing your own things. So we must obey God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's a, another thing that happens. Obedience, beca uh, the order becomes a, a, a daily thing. For our president, Uhuru, for five years, it is a daily thing. For Bishop Kamau, it is a daily thing. For Pastor Maggie, it's a daily thing. And for all of you, it's a daily thing. Sometimes God will order me, wake up because of this and that. And you know the blankets and the sleep, sometimes you don't want to wake up. So it's hard to wake up. One day, and I thank God that my family is here, they are witnesses to that. I have so many testimonies. And, and, and one day, we took a, a house girl from somewhere and we took her in our house. I didn't remember her second name, but I knew her first name. But exactly one in the night, the Lord woke me up and it was a no, a no, not a nice thing. And he told me, wake up and pray. And you know the resistance, you want to sleep, but God ordered me. And as he ordered me, let me tell you, I started praying and I knew in my house there were demonic forces. I didn't even think it was that girl. You know when you are asleep sometimes maybe outside or something. And I, as I started praying.
praying. I started praying. I had to go to another room. And as I prayed, God gave me utterance. I remember the second name of this girl. And now I started calling her by both names. And I said, you, you powers of darkness, you cannot stay in the same house with us. You cannot attack any one of us. The four corners of this land are surrounded. As I, I continued praying and pressing on, around three in the morning, I had the door open and shut where the room I was. And it banged so loud. So I knew what I was, uh, I, what was in the house. So at uh, around four or five in the morning, I slept. When I woke up in the morning, I knew who the girl was. So I went and looked her at the face. She could not face me. She was shaking like crazy. I entered in the kitchen. She ran in the bedroom. I followed her in the bedroom. And I told her, come in the kitchen. And I told her, unaona hii concussion. She could not stand me. She could not do anything. Let me tell you, obeying the orders of God works. And I, then I went, then I went to I went to work. And my daughter Maggie called me. She said, Maggie, uh, uh, Mom. The, the girl has disappeared. I, I went to took the I went to take Nasha to school and she went to behind the, the other door. And I laughed and I said she cannot stay in that house. There is fire in that house. And Maggie told me, Mom, you didn't tell us. I said because I would have scared all of you. The other, uh, another time, another girl came to our house. Let me tell you, even in the house, you need, God has given you order for your house. The girl could not stay in our house. And uh, when, when she was leaving, we found her at our gate. And I said, no, you, we have to check whether everything is okay. And she was crying, tears shaking. Don't touch me, please. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. And do you know what she told the, the person who had brought her? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I have an order to protect my family. You have an order to protect your people. You have an order to protect this altar. That no garbage or nothing evil will attend on this altar. You have an, an order to protect the seat you sit on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So obedience is better than sacrifice. So God can give you work, but we have to obey. So negative people will come when you are ordered. Negative voices will come. And we have to really, really listen to the Lord. The first equipment is the instructions of God. How will you learn the instructions so that you can obey? The word of God. Spend time in prayer. Obey to listen to God. Praise the name of the Lord. I told you I have a lot of testimonies. Five years ago, I got a, a text message. And the messenger said, there's this uh, orphan called Isaac. 
And he doesn't have school fees. So he can't go to Form 1. Please, if you have even 50 bob, send it to this number. That night, I did not sleep. I could not sleep. I prayed for that. And those messages come, but sometimes I don't care. But I'm telling you, I was given an order by God. And he told me, you are going to educate that child. And when I remembered the account, I had only 28 Thousand and I had not paid for two months rent in my uh, business place. Account yake mnyo alikuwa na kama shilinge elufu shiri na nane hivi na kwa melipia akwa melipa rent kwa yuko. So I didn't feel very nice. Akuskia via masana. Because God has people with all that money. But I called my friend and I said, can you ask that boy to come at my place at work and bring him at work? Let me tell you, when I saw him, I encouraged myself. And I said, my landlord will help me. My daughter is a witness. She knows even my husband. So, 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 I start, so when she, he sat there, when I looked at the school fees and the uniform and everything, it was going to 27,000 uh, and almost 20, almost what I had. And I went to my landlord and I told my landlord the story. He gave me 500. Landlord of the, the big, big plot that I am. I went to another one. She gave me a hundred bucks with a very big salon. I went to others. I said, oh, Pastor Leo Sina, Pastor Leo Sina. <laughs> and I think God was laughing at me. Because he did not order them. He had ordered me. And he was waiting for me to obey. And when I said, God, I don't have money, he said, it is in the accounts. And the rent... You go pay school fees. So I took the money, you know, I was given only 700 in the whole plot. It's a big one. And then we went with the boy and I did everything. We took pictures. I became a guardian. And this is not a Kikuyu. He's a Kenyan. He's a Kisi. Amen. Amen. So it's not Sima Kipendeleo. Let me tell you, I wasn't feeling nice. I was smiling, but inside I was unhappy. Why me? God, can't you look for other people? I've not even paid rent for two months. The boy and the sister were just crying because they were so happy. And they were saying, oh my God, this is our God, the one we serve. And I was wondering, you guys, do you know I have, I'm penniless. I have 400 in the account. Hey, order, this order is... Let me tell you, when God orders you, it's not a joke. But when you obey, that evening I got a call from one of my spiritual sons. And he said, Mom, I want to see you right now. I said, not today. No, I said, please, not today, because I wasn't going to... I knew they wanted me to pray, and I didn't want to pray. But anyway, the following, the following day in the morning, I said, okay, uh, okay, it's okay, son. Let's meet at Karen. When we met, he said, mom, two weeks ago, God spoke to us to give you this envelope. And we have delayed. It, the envelope had 100,000 Kenya shillings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a mighty hand. Because when God orders,
as you you must obey kwa kuongoza na kuamuru fanya hilo jambo hey, when i gave him the testimony he was crying kumbia shuda kwanza kulia he said we delayed i said no god wanted to see if i will obey with the 28000 sema kwamba tulikawi akasema pana mwana nataka nitii kama ningetii na ile pesa nilikuwa nayo church when god speaks to you wakina nawe kanisa oh when he speaks to me akinena nami Sometimes you don't even have anything. Pengine una kiku una chochote. Just obey. Heshima tu. Because you don't know what will happen. Sababu juu kile kitafanyika baadaye. Amen. I educated that boy for four years. Akampuza kijana yule kwa miaka 4. And I never lacked that school fees. Na kukosa karo ya kumlipia. He's done with the school with the school now. There were people God had ordered before let me tell you when they saw the father and the mother die. Kuna watu Mungu alikuwa alikuwa ameongoza wazazi wake walipokufa. They so they didn't obey but God was there for me to obey so that he can open door for me to bless me. Hawako shimo lakini yeye Mungu alimuongoza heshima ndio Mungu ampungulie baraka. And it was not only school fees. Ni kwa tukaro peke yake. It became even now food. Ikawa pia chakula pia. School fees every even uh, uniform kunyolewa everything hata kiwi ikiisha ni pasta magi karo na sara na kila kitu yote ilikuwa mchungaji and our father provided na baba yetu akaleta yote hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of Wana the lord yes, so joshua is on a journey joshua kwa safarini and is ordered by god ameongozwa na mungu but is encouraged he didn't know what was going to happen akijua kile kitafanyika don't forget that he was going to take the children of god to the promised land alikuwa kazi ya kufikisha wana israeli katika ile hadi It was not just open like that. Na ile mambo kule hadi kule sehemu ya hadi haikuwa tu mambo rais rais. No, there were Amor- Amorites. Kulikuwa na Amorites. There were everybody. Kulikuwa na kila moja. And they were there holding on to their to the land. Wakao pale wamekaa katika ile shamba yao. They were giants. Don't forget there were giants on the land. Walikuwa majitu kule. When God orders you and he tells you to obey he encourages you first. Mungu anapokuongoza kufanya kitu na kuhimiza kwa. My situation God had already put 28000 to encourage me. Katika ile hali yake Mungu alikuwa ampatia shilingi 28000 kumhimiza. So when he gave me the 100 alipompatia ile 100. I was so excited. Akawa na furaha. Hey, even taking now go to my children pizza at home. Sema kama watu wangu pia vile vile watasoma tu. Because of obedience. Kabilia utii kutii. Even paying 3 months instead of 2. Hata kulipa miezi kama 3 hivi alikuwa anaweza. I wanted my landlord to see unaona Mungu. Nataka leo nilaka nataka leo nilaka ajua kama unaona Mungu. Of course I didn't give the testimony of 100. Lakini nakutoa shuhuda hiyo pesa. But I want you to I want you to see when you obey. Nataka uone unapotii. Many many years ago many years ago our children were small. Miaka mingi nyuma watu wao wakiwa changa bado and we were behind rent with my husband for 3000 3000 those days were a lot a lot a lot wakati huo shilingi 1000 ilikuwa pesa mingi sana wakati ule and actually there are things we didn't have in the house and we needed them immediately hata kuna vitu wako na pale nyumbani lakini walivitaja haraka haraka sana so a, a friend of mine gave, we went to church and a friend of mine gave me 200 shillings rafiki yake kule kanisa na kampata shilingi i was so excited akawa mfurahi sana and there was a preacher who was something was going on in church so we needed to give money and i didn't have kuna mchungaji pia kuna kitu unafanyika kule kanisani ilihitaji kutoa pesa lakini hakuwa na pesa so the 200 i got i planted those 200 ile 200 alikuwa nao akapanda pale kanisani the following day on a monday siku ile mbaya ilikuwa inapoda siku ya jumatatu at 10:30 in the morning sane na nusu asubuhi i had a friend of mine calling from downstairs akasika sauti ya rafiki yake akimpigia akimuita kutoka kule chini we used to live in pangani in some flats walikuwa naishi kule pangani kule katika bijuu and i had him say maki maki wabo huwa na msalimia magiwa bogwa teremuka chini come down the stairs na ukuje na na ukuje na mtu come with somebody let me tell you tani kwambie hey those 200 bob hiyo pesa mali kwa nao 200 had bought so many things mnajua giant all of those days kaleta vitu vingi sana maunga na sukari na she, she was obeying god god took her to uchumi and was telling her what to buy that was not in our house kama giza mfanyia afanya anuna vitu kule amletea katika so she brought the shopping kaleta shopping yote 
And then she hit 3,000 somewhere. And when man. she was in the car, she told me, na how they were by Apochini ya kitaba uangalie kuna kitu. Food and rent was paid by two, the 200 obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. If God tells you to do something, just do it. Sometimes it's not even money. Sometimes it's even shoes. Sometimes it's even a dress. Hey! hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love obedience. Because through obedience, I have experienced God. In the name of Jesus. And I know many of you have also gone through the same. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I told you first Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 says, Obedience is better than sacrifice. So you can sacrifice and sacrifice, but you have to obey. The other day I was studying. I was doing, I do study a lot in the Bible. And God, and God was talking to me about uh, 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 obedience and he was telling me what obedience is and what obedience is and uh, where it starts. That's, that's a word for another time. But I realized that uh, your obedience starts with, always starts with your altar because you must feed your altar with a sacrifice. And actually I've not ministered that word anywhere. I prepare a lot and wait. Remember Proverbs 3.5 Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. I'm almost done. But God is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it's amazing when God is in operation in our lives. When you see somebody obeying, don't be mad with them. You don't know what God has spoken to them. Like when you see me and I have left the church where I was and I'm here, you don't know what God has spoken to me. And sometimes I have heard the voice of God. And whatever he wants to do for me when I'm in this season, I'm going to do it. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Do you hear church what I'm saying? Don't talk too much. Pray for those people. When you see them there, pray for them. Because when you hear somebody say, God has spoken to me to do something. By the way, start before you include other people. Because the moment you start, I don't know whether you have seen God did not deal with everybody when he was talking to Joshua. Did you notice he did call the people and said, Sikizani ni na No! He spoke, he, he went and met Joshua. And he spoke to Joshua himself. Praise the Lord. God is speaking to somebody and giving them orders. He wants them to obey and not anybody else. You see, I am married for 41 years. And my husband is seated there, he will tell you. If God speaks to me to do something, even as my husband, I don't, when God speaks, I don't ask him permission. Because many a times he has seen when God speaks and I obey the miracles that happen in that house. 
By the way, he, he prays for me. No, I'm not uh, disobedient. I'm a very good wife, by the way. I'm a very obedient woman. When I go to the house, I don't I will not stay with these shoes because I went to the to the house. No, I will go straight to the kitchen. Amen. Amen. it is true. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, in the house, I'm not, of course I'm a pastor, but in the house I become a wife and I become a mother. So even us who are serving, just know that you are, have an order in the house. Usileta ujinga nyumba ya mungu. Amen. Amen. At you are disobedient even to the marriage that you went and said, I will do, I will do, I will do. Praise the Lord. Are you, do you still love me, women? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have to be good wives in the house. We have order that even when you pray, even demons know that you are your good things are going to happen in that house. If you are disobedient to your husband, there's no unity in that house. Someone 33 says, where there's unity, God commands a blessing. So whether I have a lot of money, it doesn't matter. It belongs to me and my family. Of course, in the house of God. So it is not there to show her ni okay when any jaragi ya goko unajua ni mimi naongeaga huku. Ako pale kusema kama mimi nilitoa sauti hapa. Everything you have God has ordered that money or properties or everything for that home. We want to clarify that in the house of the Lord. And when you got married, it is for worse or for good. Not when you start doing good, the order changes. Everything you have is ordered and you must obey and ask God unataka tufanya nini. As Joshua was walked with God. He was asking God, so what next? And God was helping him. Amen. Amen. Obedience T. is not a nice suggestion to God. It's not a nice suggestion to God. No. Apana. Salvation is real. The ten, are those ten, uh, the, the, as they seven, the one that we just prayed for here. They are seven. Listen to me, church. You see us holding baskets here to pray. How many people saw us holding the baskets? Let me tell you something in the name of Jesus. If you don't obey God, those promises of blessings does not come to your house. Ah, let me be nice. You know me, I'm an evangelist. And evangelists are not like bishop akupake pake, I'll tell you the truth. Those promises goes by obeying the word of God. Don't sleep in another's woman's house and come to church expecting that promise in your home. It will not happen. Don't go abuse your husband and expect the miracles to come to your home. You are cheating yourself. Jeremiah 29 11, I'm finishing. I'm so, Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. But 
But if you read 12 and 13, you will say, but if you, you will call me with all my heart and you shall find me. Promise is there first. And then obedience is second. Give Jesus a hand clap wherever you are. Hallelujah. 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 Mumenielewa. Hey. Hata usome gani? Yeah. You must obey. Lazima uti kwanza. Hata tupewe gani for the year? Lazima uti kwanza. For the year. Kwanza hizo. Nazichukuaga every day. I take them every day. Ana unazisoma every day. I read them every day. But if you are disobedient. Lakini kama unaheshima. Hata mapepo inatekaga. Even the demons will laugh at you. Because it knows wewe wewe ujui. Unajua kama wewe ujui. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Kwa bila hali ya kutii ni vijana kule kutolea Mungu madhabihu. So lost it all because of disobedience. Saul akapoteza yote kwa ajili ya kosa kutii Mungu. And he was a king. Na alikuwa mfalme. Let's learn to obey God. And I want all of us to know that you have been ordered to do something. I have been ordered to do something. When God orders you, do not wait for the others. I'm done, but there's a miracle I must give from this house. Something that happened to us and my family. 2019. For six good months, we had mitungi zagari in our car every day without fail. Mitungi zagari kilo kala kini na mafuta. Mitungi zamaji. Mitungi zamaji. Mitungi mingi. A lot of them. Until my car used to smell a lot because of mitungi zamaji. Then we came here for service. Wakaja pa kuaji le ibada. And the day we came, I had prepared a gift for the Lord. Did, did you hear I had prepared a, a, a seed? A a gift. Gift. But wait, wait, listen. So, <laughs> as I'm, I, I, because I had prepared and, and put it in the envelope, they brought uh, they, you. You guys had gone to Turukana, and some things, uh, something had happened, and we were you were giving for Turukana. After giving all that, and I was seated here. God spoke to me. And he said, do you want to put those mitungis down? Take another seat and take it to the office. I pretended like I didn't hear. Because you have already given a seed and now God is asking you the other one and you have put it for tomorrow. He said, if you want not these mitungis again ever in your car, take that amount you know and God give it specifically for Turukana let me tell you we went with my husband and, and my family and we got a cup of tea and I, I gave the seed now for Turukana you see I didn't even tell my husband because I did because, because he is my husband, I love him, but the order was given to Magiwa Bohua. When we arrived home, all our tanks were full of water. Our taps were full of water. I obeyed, and when we arrived home, Straight from 2019, there's water and the whole area had no water except our house. I, gave, I called Bishop immediately and I told him the testimony. Now I told my husband what I did. I, we were shocked and shocked. From 2019 up to now, we always have water. And when there's no water in the taps, now we don't carry mitungis. God has provided for the money to, to put in the tank. 
Sijui kama mumeelewa hiyo. Siwezi weka mtungi kwa gari. Tanki moja inaweka mita, kwa, kwa, kwa whatever kwa tanks. Majira kuji na jam fridge na tanki yote. Just because of the seed I gave. Bila mbegu ambayo alitoa. What am I saying? Anasema nini? Please when God speak to you. Mungu anaponena na wewe. Always know that's an order. Jua kwamba hiyo ni agizo lazima ifanye. Did you hear what I said? Yeye umenisikiza vyema. It's an order. Ile amri if God tells you that you have somebody so loving, even a house girl or a friend in your house and God wants them to go, run fast and tell them, uma, 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 because you don't know what they are doing in your house. Amen. Amen. Anyway, there are many testimonies even about those demonic things I'm saying. There's some who, can, who I can tell I'm not going to pray for you. If you are doing stop now and you don't need deliverance from anybody you did you need to pray and get out those demons that you brought in your, your life hallelujah thank you jesus why don't you to talk, talk to god why don't you talk to god shaka rabo sikamanderebasia if you need uh, if you need to be obeying God or you need a miracle, can you jump here at the altar? I'm going to speak to God so that you can learn to order to obey orders. Amen. Come on, Taji. If you need a miracle, just come quickly. quickly. Amen. Even online. If you need a miracle, kneel down in your house. Because the miracle working God of obedience is here. In the name of Jesus. It's about obedience. It's not about the sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It is the order of the day that you obey God and you obey the order and miracles will just happen if you are not born again online and you need Jesus you get saved and you let us know that you are born again if you are not born again in this house and you need Jesus just lift up your hand and I'll see it and I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, lift up your right hand. I'm going to pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, your children at the altar, oh my God, and every one of them needs a discernment, oh God, we need to do what the order you have given to us, oh God, and we need to know to obey oh Jehovah we, we need to know how to obey instructions I pray for your children right now that my God you are coming down you are performing miracles you are performing miracles you are entering in our homes you are changing every situation my God forgive us Lord where we did not obey when the order came Help us to obey the orders. Help us to obey the order. Help us to obey the order. In the name of Jesus, I pray for those at home. I pray for those at work. Perform miracles, Lord. For those who need Jesus, their salvation come in our homes. The power of God come in our homes. Come in our churches, come in our businesses, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you the honor, give Jesus a mighty hand clap, give Jesus a mighty hand clap, amen and amen and amen.
God bless you. I love you. Let's obey the orders of God. You may sit down in the name of Jesus. I'm done here. Thank hallelujah, you, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord with a powerful, oh, powerful, yes. powerful hand. Hallelujah. 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 Wow, wow. The servant of the Lord has spoken. Have you heard what the Lord has said? Let's praise the Lord for that powerful message. Thank you so much, Pastor Margaret, for speaking to us. We look forward to the next time that God will order you to preach here. We want you to speak to us. God is using you. Let's praise the Lord again for his servant. Amen. Allow me to invite you now into obedience. The Bible says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. It is now a test of obedience. A test of honoring the Lord. We are also encouraged to bring a love offering when we come together to worship the Lord. And finally, we are reminded to honor pledges and commitments that we make. So those of you online, you've been given channels already on your screen. And those of you in the house of the Lord, the channels are open. You can use the M-Pesa pay bill, you can use the numbers on the screen. Or you can also use these white envelopes which have got the name into the storehouse cornerstone faith assembly and I thank God that many of you have learned the discipline of obedience in typing giving and honoring pledges and while we are doing this let us invite our brother Washira whoever is coming now to greet us Karibu. thank you bishop Good afternoon, Cornerstone. Good afternoon, Church. Hallelujah. Um, here to appreciate and acknowledge the online church. And the online church is always blessed by the ministry taking place in the house of the Lord. If you look at the comment section, so many people are blessed by the ministry taking place. And therefore, I appreciate you, Nancy Muthoni, Winning Gache, Collins Karioki, Joroge Wamurugi, Impress Diko, Kirubi Jr., Veronica Getao, Gentrix Kasiti, Anthony Munua, Maureen Kadiga, Mary James, and so many more watching online. Na wengi, May the Lord bless you. Na wengi wanao, tazama kwa mtandao, buwana wabariki. And uh, let us continue uh, watching, commenting, liking. Tuendelea kutazama pia kututumia ujumbe na kutunyoshea kidori. And even sharing the ministry of the Lord. Na pia kushiriki huduma ya buwana. That comes to us online. Na mbae nakuja kwenye mtandao. And uh, I want to remind us of the order of services. Pia wanakumbusha ila hali ya ibada. Uh, it's two services that come to us every Sunday. And the first worship service comes to us at 8 a.m. in the morning. And at the 10 o'clock hour, we have uh, classes for different groups. The second worship service comes to us at 11 a.m. And children's uh, ministry runs simultaneously with the worship program. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Brother Washira. I'd like to remind you that in the month of April, we'd like to launch all the departments. And in the coming month of March, we'll resume our midweek uh, online services and on sanctuary services. Those online and others. So I believe you are ready now. And I know many of you would 
be asking me what happened to Ruth, those of you who saw her online or first service. I feel impressed to uh, share with you my mom has been admitted at uh, Nairobi West Hospital. And today we got a call from the hospital that she is well, she is being at uh, Discharged. So we agreed with my wife and my other family members will go and take care of that business. And Simon and I are here worshipping the Lord. Amen. Let's all stand. Please remember. Kumbuka. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Kutoa ni, uh, kutoa and when God kutoa... gives you an order amri. to do something that you even feel you don't want to do or it's too big or impossible, Kufanya jambo ni kubwa ama please don't mm. remind God what you don't have or what una. you are going through. Ama ilo All those things is aware. He just wants you to take one step and then he'll take a thousand steps on your behalf. Would you lift up these that you have separated for God? And those who have already given, lift up your hand. We pronounce a blessing now. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the opportunity to obey you with our resources. Continue prospering this time. Continue blessing with bounty these givers. Open doors for your people, Father. Connect your people, Father. Remove destiny hindrances in the name of Jesus. Let doors be open. Let your people walk through. Because you are our God. We believe we are already prosperous. Because God, you are with us. So thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And now may the grace of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. May you bring down the envelopes now. And the blue card, if you did not uh, deposit to us previously, please bring the basket in the middle, Tony, so people can bring the, the cards there. It's on the, that table, please. Pastor Amos, I need that basket in the middle here. Bring all the way to the middle, Tony. So you can put your card here if you did not do that previously. You gave me your heart, and I can see your love. 